What is up, guys? It's Adam, a.k.a. Marf, and this is Marfugal News, the only something right now. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about an emergency broadcast, and this is really happening right now as we speak. So we'll be right back after this. <laughs> All right, guys, so <clears throat> this is not uh, an official show. This is actually, um, this is getting ready for, uh, th uh, I'll just be honest with you. This is uh, a huge event, and no matter what you think of this event, uh, I'll just straight up tell you right now, it is kicking off in Washington. Uh, the video now, if you have not seen Governor Jay Inslee, uh, he came forward and he essentially banned all events over 250 people. Uh, and then he said that the rest of the country is to follow and they are going to be setting the precedent. They're going to be setting an example. They're going to be setting uh, kind of the template for the rest of the country. So you don't have to believe me at this point. I'll, I'll let you wait a couple days until this actually happens. Uh, now they're they're banning large events and not th not only this. You go, well, who cares if I'm not uh, meeting with 250 people? They're also um, actually striking down on uh, smaller events too, if you do not follow the guidelines. So underneath the governor, the entire state of 7 million people <clears throat> is going to be banning these uh, larger events. So that means the home Mariners game is going to be empty, playing in front of no one. Which, by the way, if you watched my show last week, we talked about how LeBron James, a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago said he would not play if the fans weren't there. It was almost like, you know, somebody told him, hey, there's, it's going to get to the point where you're going to be playing in front of empty crowds. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So this is it, one of the biggest things to happen in our lifetimes. Uh, like they say, in fact, this woman says, it is one of the most transformative things that you know will ever happen. Uh, the words he uses, uh, the, the, the statements they make during this, uh, are absolutely blowing uh, me away right now. Uh, Dex, now this is kind of an emergency broadcast, but I wanted to bring you in uh, because obviously now they have actually declared a pandemic now, uh, which we don't want to say because we're not trying to get this shuttered. Uh, are you there? Dex, are you there? Hello, Adam. I am here. And hello, Google fam. Sorry about that. Something was wrong with the, t the audio. Um, yeah, the uh, World Health Organization, the WHO, actually has uh, officially declared this a pandemic, uh, as we're saying. Um, and yes, that's a, that's a milestone. It's been a while. I thought they would have done this a long time ago, but we've had a lot of other intel that sort of suggested why they might not. Uh, but yeah, that's a big, big milestone today. So obviously they, they say that there was a lot of reasons they're not doing that. That, just like when in Washington, when we declared the state of emergency, all of a sudden it, it just kicked off all of the panic shopping. It kicked off all this. Now, I, again, I don't want people to panic, but I do want to state the reality of this. This is going to, uh, and then get this. It's not just a ban of 250 plus. Uh, he says in the next couple days, uh, he wants, he says, I absolutely want schools to understand. Uh, they want, we want you to create plans to be able to close the schools. And the only reason they haven't closed all of the schools is because some of them said that they didn't have contingency plans. Not only that, uh, the only superintendent in my sister's district uh, up in North Shore, uh, they actually closed all of their schools. That superintendent went out on a limb and actually closed her uh, her, her school district, uh, even against people, you know, coming after her saying, you know, it was a dumb idea. Uh, they organize a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, my sister had a laptop brought to her house. Uh, it literally brought to the house by the by the uh, school district so my nephew could do his schooling. On top of that, 
in uh, low income situations, they're actually uh, putting together uh, school lunches in that district and they set the template for what is going to happen now. So now my uh, 14 year old and everybody else that's going to school, they are, uh, they of course are going to start having to do school from home. Uh, this is this is what I predict. Uh, he, he basically says it in the video and I'll show you some clips of that. Not only that, he says, uh, this is not the end. This is most likely going to extend in the next couple days, and it will be a template for the rest of the country. The, the, he says, unfortunately, the rest of the country is uh, right behind us. So I'll, I'll uh, show you a couple of the clips here. It is uh, very unnerving. I mean, this is this is really, really, really crazy here. Let me show you here. I mean, this is uh, this is probably one of the biggest things to happen to us in a long time. Let's see here. In testing, and then um, really other uh, another incredibly important piece of this is that everybody should understand that there's guidance now. Centers, but the and the consequences of lack of community responsibility. Now watch this. I'm going to pull uh, this up. Uh, do that legally. And the reason is because we care about the grandparents that might attend. And so uh, that's the, the, the principal motivating force here. So it does apply to social gatherings and family gatherings and of over 250. And what King County has done is to say if you have an area below 250 of uh, some social event, uh, you know, we want social distancing to the to the extent humanly possible. Can we get in county that yes. are going to be enforced? I'm sorry? Uh, people, I'm at, a question for mm -hmm. Executive Constantine. Yeah. How is that going to be yeah. enforced and are you talking about restaurants or are you talking about... No. Watch this. <clears throat> so they want restaurants to continue, but get this, they... Um, I say only if they can enforce the social people distancing. People are going to do that. I had a discussion with John Stanton the other day of the Mariners, and you know, missing a home opener is a big, big deal to the state of Washington. But I think he and others understand the importance of health, and I think we're going to have acceptance of this. Yes, I but mean, it continues to go up, so that it probably. Uh, Mayor Victoria Woodard of Tacoma. I wasn't sure if you got introduced, but yes. thank you. I'm yeah. going to pull up the part. So I have two prior and making other during regional court. I've connected with leadership of our and reduce. Watch we this. We may need real critical care for thousands of people in the months uh, 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 as we go forward. I want to talk about schools. People are intensely interested in this issue. Uh, we have been doing a very, very deep search into the science about how to reduce the transmission rates associated with our children. The good news is that our children are relatively, relatively free of serious uh, disease associated with this. But the best science tells us they still have the capability of transmitting the disease to other people they come in contact with. And so we are giving intense thought about what we can do in regard to our children. In that regard, I'm asking all of our school districts to immediately begin contingency planning for potential school closures in the next several days. In the next several days. So that, that's, that, that's one thing that affects us personally. So if you live other places in the country, you're like, ah, who cares? Watch, it's going to come to your town and your kids will be... Uh, this will close your schools. This is not to scare people. This again, maybe you get some good family time out of it. Uh, but how it works in my sister's district is at 8 a.m. She has to uh, wake up and make sure that he's on the computer. He has to sit there. So basically, it's it's forced homeschooling, which I guess is uh, isn't that bad. Uh, but again, this is that's kind of how it is working out there. We are asking them to do so because we know they care about our kids. But we also know that the schools can help us on providing the nutritional needs for children. Delivering the lunches. If, in fact, closures are required. And they can help consider what we can do for child care for parents if, in fact, closures occur. 
This is very important as we think about this because we don't want to have nurses have to leave their employment at a hospital in the middle of an epidemic because they don't have child care uh, resolved. So we're asking our school district leaders to uh, bend to this task of figuring out what we can do. As Governor Inslee outlined, I want to, I want to catch right here. We are oh, there we go. On providing the nutritional needs for children if in fact closures are required and they can help consider what we can do for child care for parents if in fact closures occur. This is very important as we think about this because we don't want to have nurses have to leave their employment at a hospital in the middle of an epidemic because they don't have child care uh, resolved. So we're asking our school district leaders to uh, bend to this task of figuring out what we can do in the event we have to make these decisions. It is expected I will give more guidance in the next couple of days in that regard. And I'll be talking to superintendents of the three uh, counties uh, I've talked about uh, this afternoon. So I want to, conclusion, thank Washingtonians for helping lead the nation. Unfortunately, we know that the rest of the nation will be where we are perhaps in a couple or, or three weeks. And we hope that the things we're doing aggressively here can set a template for the rest of the country. I've talked to several of my colleagues and shared our experiences to date. So <clears throat> to make sure you guys understand, this is setting a template. They say that we're one to three. Uh, they say they're two to three weeks ahead of the rest of the country. Uh, they also know, and he states that uh, we have thousands of on. Uh, I mean, he straight up says we have thousands of cases that are not there. So whether you believe or not, we are going to be physically uh, getting worse. Uh, and they go into it. They say, they say that we are actually going to get worse, uh, worse results from this. That we are going to be uh, getting more things like a lockdown. Also, I'm getting messages from family like crazy. Um, so people are people are actually considering. If you go, if you don't know me, my name is Adam. I run uh, two YouTube channels. One is at 152,000 subscribers. One is at 108,000 subscribers. Uh, we have a website. We have groups all over the country that meet. Uh, we have a website, marfuglenews.com. People are actually saying, you know, hey, this is uh, a lot of our family and people that we know are deciding to go to their areas, um, to go to their spots. I am not there yet. Uh, if we do that, we shut down our entire operation. We, If we go to our cabin, that shuts down our entire uh, show. Our show stops because we do not have internet. It is completely off grid. I'm not a crazy, crazy uh, prepper by any means. Uh, in fact, we talk about this. Uh, the military has contingency plans for absolutely everything. Uh, the government has contingency plans for absolutely everything. Uh, we don't think you're crazy for having a contingency plan. Uh, and they, you know, people don't think the military is crazy for having a contingency plan. But if you have one in this day and age, you are looked down upon. You're looked down upon like you, you, you're the weird homeless guy on the corner that says the end is near. Um, that's not how it should be. We should <clears throat> be able to realize things like this. So no matter what you think of this, uh, event, uh, this, um, this virus, whether you think it's, it's a, a common cold or you think it is the worst thing that's ever happened, the lockdowns are going to be real. And we've called this since, uh, basically the first week of January, we called it, we told you, and, and remember they were still talking about impeachment. Then they weren't even talking about this. So when people say, oh, the MSM is covering it, so it's fake. No, they were avoiding this as long as they could. Uh, they were trying to, to look at impeachment. They were trying to talk about everything else. Now it is now they're, now they're trying to uh, kind of spin it, control it. Uh, here's the thing. This is a huge deal. Uh, this is a gigantic deal. Like like he said, the home uh, opener of a game that usually pumps you know millions of dollars into the city, uh, that is you know either going to be canceled or not have a single fan in there. So it'll be televised and they play by themselves. We said this when when uh, LeBron James said almost two weeks ago, it was like somebody gave him a heads up that this was going to happen. Uh, Jay Inslee is the first one to say this. He's not going to be the last. New York is next. They have National Guard sitting uh, in the cities helping with sanitization and all this. 
Uh, let me just remind you, this it looks a lot like other places. Now, our economy is taking a serious hit. Uh, the best places that are actually uh, you know, getting, uh, good results is like Walmart and all these places that everybody's rushing to, to get every, all the types of food. Uh, people have been panic buying. People have been doing things that they shouldn't have been grabbing 40 isopropyl alcohols, which absolutely screws everybody else. Uh, grabbing 80 sanitizers that you probably will never use. Uh, this is irresponsible. It's, it's just absolutely uh, not okay. Now, by the way, we're going to put all of the links here. I want to show you too. Uh, so, the, this is an x-ray, uh, which, by the way, we had uh, one of our uh, very trusted sources tell us about <clears throat> their friend was a radiologist, and they tried sounding alarms about three, four weeks ago, and it is looked down upon uh, to go above and beyond the uh, centers for, you'll fill in the blank. Um, and then they said that uh, that it looked like glass nodules in it, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting. I just we just found this it says these X-ray images show the damage that CV is doing to the lungs of people who catch the potentially deadly bug. Doctors have been able to identify specific abnormalities caused by this uh, event, and the patterns are similar to those found in patients from SARS and MERS outbreaks. Uh, so there's actual pictures. They are different. And when these radiologists were saying things about this, uh, and by the way, this is people that never got uh, tested, they go, don't worry about it, send them back out in the lobby, apparently. And uh, I'll just I'll just say that. I, I, you guys that follow my show know that that happened, and I told you guys about it. Um, now they know that there are specific things that are actually happening uh, with this event. Uh, let's see here. And then with, with this uh, lungs situation, even if you are a healthy young buck, 30 years old, you think, oh, I'm not affected. Uh, this permanently damages everything. And then uh, you can be reinfected. So that's just the facts. That's, that's what we know. Locally here, uh, people say, oh, I don't know anybody. Do you know anybody? Yes, we do know. Now we know several people. We're in the hot zone and you don't have to believe me. You can wait until it comes to your town. In fact, it's probably already there. It's, there's, a, there's a time and a place uh, where everybody needs to stop saying this is a common cold, this is this, this is that. Um, it, you know, First off, if they are saying it's 10 times more fatal, I don't know how many times it is more fatal, uh, but I do know that it's different. It is definitely different. Whatever's going on here is definitely different. Uh, we've lost people. We've lost somebody who uh, mattered to, to our family friend tremendously. So I, again, Nobody's going to believe it if if you're one of those, I don't want to, just wait. Because that's what they're, that, that, this is what's happening. It is getting to everywhere. So whatever this is, it is definitely something. And, Adam, you know, it, it's interesting the people that think one way or the other on whether or not this is real or, or uh, some sort of manufactured situation. It doesn't matter. What we're seeing is the foreshadowing from... You know, what China, we're seeing is lockdowns. Italy, we're seeing to, lockdowns. We, yeah, West global West lockdown, coast, and it's going to roll its way, and from the East Coast and roll its way across America. We're going to, if if you don't believe that what you've seen happen in other countries is not going to happen here, then you need to wake up because that's it, it's the writing's on the wall. That is coming here. What whatever the underlying reason is, if you don't want to believe that or not, that's fine. But these are the actions that are coming, and you need to understand what that is and how you need to prepare yourself, your family, you know, to deal with that situation as it does come forward. It's it, the, what it, what is what is actually happening. Doesn't matter what the fairies are doing or or what what is going on. Uh, the country is soon to see possible lockdowns, and I say possible, and I I mean probable. Uh, here is going to see a lockdown. Uh, they know this, and they're basically setting up for it. Uh, New York knows this. They are setting up for it. They have National Guard because uh, people are going to be pissed. That is a big, very uncontrollable city if they don't like what, what is going on. What's crazy is this is something that, you know, the, boogie mom, the boogeyman can't be seen. So people want to stay in. It, 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 this is a very thing. Gen uh, Go Governor Jay Inslee again said a whole lot during this last uh, speech 
Uh, even the woman behind him, just an ominous introduction. She says, this, this is going to be the most transformative thing in our time. And it, it really is. By the way, by the way, uh, he said on Face the Nation just the day before uh, that they need to, he says they need to activate what they did in uh, World War II, which is mobilizing supply chains. I have taken, I have taken a video of the port or at least what port I could reach without getting in trouble. Uh, but then Long Beach and Los Angeles ports, we know for a fact that there's articles, there's uh, videos from several people. Uh, now we know that it's light and that's because we're not taking in stuff. We're not, uh, we're basically not shipping stuff around. So the economy is kind of half frozen right now and they need to start doing stuff in the United States. They need to basically ask, say, uh, companies that are making, you know, mittens to change production to masks or that's what I, I predict. And that's why it, what I predict just because we actually have 13,000 people in our Discord. We're getting information every single day about this. So... I, I, you know, I, I would like to cover other stuff too, but at this point I'm in the hot zone and we're about to be locked down. So, you know, at this point I would like to say the people that actually watch my normal show or watch my thing, I apologize, but this is what is happening. Uh, this is almost for us. This is like almost go time and go time for us means a vacation at our, vac at our, uh, cabin, right? But really, it would be it would be financially hurtful. Uh, it would be, you know, it would be scary for us to do that in the same right too. So, you know, we have a lot of people that depend depend on us for getting out information out out the news. We try to back up every single thing we say. In fact, I think that even the, the platforms are seeing that. Not the uh, the main one uh, is starting to see that. Uh, we've had probably three months of demonetization, and all of a sudden, uh, the last like week, uh, you know, we're not getting hit. We're backing up every single thing we say with uh, a bibliography of multiple sources. So as far as this goes, uh, I think people need to seriously take a look at what their plans are. Uh, you, you need to understand that what Jay Inslee is doing is actually going to carry over to the rest of the country. Uh, this is this is something, this is just the start. We were the first infected state. Uh, we were the first perished state. Now, no matter what age group it affects, it, it, even if that was true, which yeah, that was based on uh, a whole bunch of numbers that didn't belong. Uh, even if that was true, that doesn't uh, that doesn't change the fact that they are saying that they are going to lock down uh, major cities. This is uh, this is huge. Uh, Dex, what if they lock down your city? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we just saw our schools close here in Atlanta uh, the other day. So yeah, it's it's happening everywhere. It will happen everywhere. And you know, the thing like this. So you look at this closure. You know, you think, oh, maybe it's an inconvenience to me. I have to stay home, or I can't go to the sporting event, or I can't go to you know, or maybe there's a question on whether or not I can host this wedding that we may have coming up next month. Where we have 250 guests coming. Is that allowed? Right. There's a, another ripple effect. You've got small businesses all over every town from small towns to big town and i know in seattle there are plenty of restaurants and businesses and small businesses that are all going to take a monstrous hit and it's not just the business owner it's the wait staff it's the bus boys it's the chefs it's everybody who's not going to have a job or not going to get paid right and the businesses aren't going to be able to pay their rent and pay any of those other things so there will be a huge ripple effect when each of these things rolls out um, this is huge. It's a big deal. It's not just how many people are going to the hospital, but it's also what else happens to the rest of the economy and not just what are you importing from China, but you know, Bob's burgers down the street. And I'm sorry, that's a TV show, but you know what I mean? The, the burger shop down the street who you go to all the time that you love closes down for a month. They're going out of business. It's hurting them unless they're a large corporation. They've got a lot of money in the bank and they can, they can withstand that. One, I mean, it's a big deal. One thing I don't get is that they're saying that uh, you'll be able to get unemployment if your work is, is not the kind of work where you can work from home, uh, if there's situations like that. Um, I, w where's this money coming from? 
I, well, I that's the coming from unemployment insurance. And I can't imagine that that, if that's the case, I mean, I know they say that and sure you can make that claim, but that is going to also bankrupt the unemployment insurance business. There's an entire insurance business that pay that these businesses pay the unemployment insurance so that when they do lay somebody off. So if this happens across the country, them. we're they, that's going to be gone. I mean, this yeah, is gonna, it's all gone. I the, mean, those companies that are backing it, they're out of business. Th that's why they're saying that this is going to be the most transformative thing in our time, period. Uh, you know, this is not fear. You, you, uh, you know, what's so funny is our local news behind them. The whole time they're talking about this facts, not fear. Everybody's afraid of being fear mongering, right? I honestly, at this point, I don't give a crap. We are being locked down. I mean, this is the first part. This is 250 people prohibited. Watch what happens next. He said it in clear, in clear as day. He said within the next couple of days, we will probably uh, further these restrictions. And it's happened like clockwork. We've said it's going to happen and then it happens. You you don't believe me? Just wait. And I'll be coming back in three days and saying, see, we told you so. But do you want to be right on something like this? No. Nobody wants to be right. Like this is real. This is as real as it gets as far as uh, the the thing that's causing it. Don't know. But the actual actions that are restricting United States citizens, those are real. Italy is completely uh, quarantined right now. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened in our lifetimes. Uh, I, I, I mean, if, even if something like is September is yeah, not if, is not this big in scale. Absolutely, and, and if something like this is sustained for a long period of time, the transformations we're going to see, we're going to see the interesting thing is we're going to see large corporations like um, the, the AZ company that's actually based where you are. I don't want to name their name, uh, but we all order from them, right? They ship to our homes that's going to become the norm. It is the norm sort of now, but it also all of a sudden becomes the only way you can get anything, right? And the only way we're going to be able to get stuff is through, and, and we're going to be forced into having a one, one or two options period that are controlled by a system that tells us how we can deliver products, how we can get things to our homes if we're not allowed to go out and get them. What is like really going on here? It's just, it's really, really, really freaky, this whole thing. Um, again, this is not our normal show. If you've never seen our normal show, it's a, a live call in and we have people call in and, and give their opinions as, as well as give you the daily news. This has just hit us like a rock. Uh, I, I guarantee you this is going to affect major uh, events. This is going to affect everything. And then for him to say, sit there and say in the next couple days, this will probably uh, be be extended. I know it is going to. They're setting us up. They're telling us, hey, you're going to be on lockdown. Get your crap together right now. And that's exactly what is going down. New York has already got National Guard in place because I think that they feel like they might get some kickback uh, when they do it in a few weeks. They have projectionists telling them that this is only going to get worse. And, I mean, they saw it. They say with uh, these actions that it will slow. He's, and he says, we want to be the most aggressive with it, which is not good for us, by the way. That's, that means we're locked down. Uh, he says, we want to be the most aggressive and show the world that we can... Uh, oh my gosh, the words he was used, like, you'd think he was doing something great. Uh, he's like, you know, deliciously slow this thing down. I, I thought he was going to say, like, we want to be over with it. No, he's like, uh, to slow it down. It's it's very scary, but at the same time, we have to be logical. You have to set up your house if in case you have to sit there for four weeks. Uh, this is not a panic buy situation. People that say it's fear mongering, wait until it comes to your town. What are you gonna say when you are actually locked down? All oh, those guys are just fear mongering, and then you try to actually leave your house and you're not supposed to. Okay, it's facts. It's literal facts that we are prohibiting 250 plus people, which means uh, baseball games, all major sporting events, all major uh, uh, conventions, Comic-Con, all these things are canceled. Millions and millions are the, the uh, economy effect just from this, just in our little uh, corner of the country is gigantic. If then, then California and New York follows, uh, we're, you're talking about the top five uh, economy, you know, th th this is where most of our money from our country comes from. Those all three stop. Just those three will have a major impact. They say a recession is coming. They say all of this, right? 
Well, what I do see is that I see them uh, restricting people's travel, uh, requiring um, enhanced IDs. In fact, some my, my friend, I talked to her and she said, yeah, I got my two kids uh, enhanced IDs. And I'm like, why? And the, she, she uh, obviously stated, she goes, well, you're going to have to. I'm like, for kids? You're going to have to if you want to travel uh, just in general. This is before this. So again, there's just so much change happening in our world. And uh, I'm not wearing a tinfoil hat here. I'm literally reading the writing on the wall. So I hope that all of you guys understand that in the next week, you are going to see this uh, pop up in other cities. And uh, eventually nobody will be sitting here like, oh, this is just a flu. It doesn't matter if it's just a, if it is okay, you're still going to get locked down. Just saying. Dex, do you have anything else to say? <clears throat> You know, a lot of people are afraid right now. And I think the one thing I want to tell people is, you know, fear is is something that can harm you. It's something that can make you make bad decisions or make you turn away and run from something that you probably shouldn't. And I think, you know, take a breath. You know, a lot of the things we're talking about are scary and they, they're, they're not intended to necessarily create fear for you, but this is a reality we're living in. So I would encourage you if you are scared, if you are feeling fear, to take a deep breath and, and try, to, try to restructure the way you're thinking about this. And it's not about, am I going to be scared? But what can I do? What step can I take today? What can I do tomorrow? What are the next three things I'm going to do to better myself so that I'll be in a better position to deal with what's coming? Whether that's a simple step of, you know, saving some money on something here or buying an extra, you know, item that I may need for my medicine cabinet or whatever. Think of those little steps you can take and rechannel that fear is if you just live in fear, it's not going to be good for you. And it's not going to bring you, it's not going to do anything to help you in this situation right now. No, I, I completely agree. And I think, uh, I think people are starting to understand that it doesn't matter what the hell it is. It's still changing the way that we uh, live life. Now, if you guys want to help support broadcasts just like this, you can support us through Nord VPN. Everybody knows what a VPN is at this point. If you guys want to support us, uh, we're a small business and we're in the hot zone. We're obviously going to have to deal with this our, in our way. Uh, but again, this is something that everyone needs, a VPN. You can get special savings with the code Marfugal. Uh, you know, as far as all of this stuff that's going on, it's it's smart to have. And then EMP Shield is running a contest. As many people that watch our show normally, this is a product that the, DH, uh, the DHS, Department of Homeland Security, DOD, uh, and then, of course, the Demso team in Texas, protecting the Texas grid, uh, they are officially part of it now. Uh, it's 100% American-made, it's veteran-owned, and again, this will protect you against EMPs. Right now, there's bigger things on people's mind, but this is something that's always going to be on the back burner for us, especially uh, with the new bill that the president signed last year. So I hope that you guys all have an amazing night. Uh, go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP for, to actually get them. And if you want to join the contest, they are giving three devices away to three people. That's a $1,000 uh, value to each person. Uh, multiple ways to enter marfuglenews.com slash contest. Thank you for supporting small news like myself and Dex. Uh, we are very uh, appreciative of any support we get. Thumbs up, likes, all that kind of stuff. And of course, uh, we uh, we love you much. Absolutely, you want to know much what's love going to on, What's really going on? When it happens, go to marfugalnews.com and get Marfugal alerts along with a Discord invitation, where you can find your local state group and get together with the Fugal fam. You'll find fast friends where you'll share prep and intel, and there's even special groups for former and current military. But don't try and steal the valor of those who have really served. It won't go well for you. The Marfugel fam is waiting for you.